Hello everyone, welcome to Alice Hat TV Gaming Time. Today we've got some stuff to talk about and here's the intro. Now we've already talked about the Battlefront 2 community transmission for the Genosis vehicles, so a video link to that will be in the description. Okay, so Hero Unleash is back. Once again, same as before, starting Friday, ending Sunday. So be there or be squared. Including also, Benoit has um, been going on Twitter basically saying that yes, there will be some fixes um, with the officer, and they're also looking at some stuff with Chewbacca. Now, for me, I, I don't find Chewbacca a problem ever. I, if I can, I'll defeat him. If not, I'll stay calm about it. But with the officer, um, I don't know. Again, I just stay calm. That's all I can really say about that. And now also a new game changer has been announced. And now the thing is, is that we haven't heard of any new game changers for Battlefront 2 since the launch date of it. Fire Guy Gaming is a new game changer to the game changer program for Battlefront 2. So, yeah, I don't think anything will be different except from a bunch of game changers for Battlefront 2 will be going back to DICE to try out Geonosis. Now, I don't know if they'll be trying out the new hero, Obi Wan Kenobi, but I bet they'll definitely be trying out the vehicles as well as the new map. Also, for Life is Strange, a, the comic has come out for other parts of the world, but for the UK, Amazon is still saying that you're going to have to wait until April of 2019. Sucks, right? But if you can't wait, then that other book is out. Links to that will be down below. Also, um, on the Xbox, Life is Strange has announced that They've got their Life is Strange official Xbox Club, so if you want to go and join it, link down below. And now finally, they released another development update on November 9th. Now, this is talking about voice acting and the progress about it, but they do say that on the next development update that they will have an update on episode 2. We're going to have to wait and see. Will it come out in December or not? I don't know. So XO18 happened and as everyone else thought it would be, no Batman Arkham stuff got announced there. Well, Steady wasn't even there at that event. So, but what else did happen? Well, new games got announced that got added to the um, Xbox Game Pass and also a game that a lot of people have been waiting for is Crackdown 3. They also did talk about Kingdom Hearts because um, this is this going to sound stupid, but this is the first Kingdom Hearts game that's going to the Xbox, and the stupid part is that I've only learned about it. So yeah, I don't want to talk about this for too long, but it was an all white show. It was it was nice to watch something very different to how PlayStation Experience is. So Spider Man. The second DLC, you already know that it's coming to you on Tuesday, November 20th. But, there's some other things that got released this week. As of, that the new free suits have been announced and released. And so the images should be up on your screen um, right now. And also, like before, they have said that there will be new challenges, new side missions. Basically, the stuff that you saw on the heist will be put into here. Be interesting to see how this new campaign is as of Yui is back and it looks like for some of it you'll be trying to save her. I hope they don't kill her off. New Harry Potter mobile game got teased this week or actually that happened about six months ago. Anyway, the game's called Harry Potter Wizard United. Now, if you're thinking it's just a leak game, no, this is not, because this is a mobile game. And this mobile game was coming in 2019, but apparently it's been delayed, so I don't know what that means, but 
I don't really care, but I just wanted to let you know. Also, before I go on to Spyro, Skylanders has announced that they're making a new game, and then they will have a trailer of what you can call it, called Skylanders Wise of Heroes. Now, this is a mobile game, if you're wondering, and in the trailer, the it looks like it basically had all of the familiar Skylander faces, one of the most popular ones being Spyro. Now what's different is that Activision's on this, but Toys for Bob is not. So, what? Has this game been in the works while Spyro the Reunited Trilogy has also been in the works? Interesting to me. Maybe could Activision use Toys for Bob to get them to remaster? another Spyro game. Just a thought. Spyro the Reunited Trilogy came out this week. Now, I didn't want it to wait. I've been waiting for so long for this game. And I'm glad I did this as if I brought it digitally. Now, my internet is fantastic. I don't have any problems with the internet when it comes to this. And so far, I've nearly got to nearly half the game done already. Now, I don't know about the disc situation thing, but I will say that the graphics are beautiful. This is not with you, by the way. And all of it just looks amazing. I'm still in the sections where I need to complete it. Um, it's just, it's just good. Um, <laughs> like, it's been a very long time since we had anything Spyro. -y. We've had more Crash Bandicoot stuff than Spyro, but it's nice to see him back once again. And no, guys, don't be dumb. Spyro did not come from Skylanders. Spyro came years and years ago from Insomnia. Yeah, the guys who made Spider-Man. But Spyro the Reunited Trilogy, if you love Spyro, just go ahead and pick it up. It's on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and I'm hearing like the rumours of it coming to the Switch. Is that still relevant or not? It was a couple of months ago, but Look, just go and pick it up if you love Spyro. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, here's something I don't usually do, but Children in Need is basically going to be on tonight. It's going to be on BBC One, and it's a UK charity show. If you want to go and know what it is and donate, links will be down below. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys. See ya.